Easy Style Science presents Making a Better Milk for Cats Basic equipment provided for this activity is a 2ml syringe, a 10ml syringe, a syringe barrel with rubber tubing attached, a stirring rod, two test tubes, a marker pen, a 250ml beaker, a 100ml beaker, a clip and some filter paper. Also provided is a sieve. Basic reagents are full fat milk, a 2% solution of sodium alginate and a 1.5% solution of calcium chloride. The enzyme used to break down the lactose sugar in the milk is lactase. To establish whether the lactose has been broken down by the enzyme into its component sugars, we use diastics to indicate the presence of glucose. The amount of glucose in the product can be established by using a colour coded chart on the side of the tub. Here are the indicator sticks with the colour changing pads at the end. To create the alginate beads containing the enzyme, draw up 8 millilitres of the sodium alginate solution and place them into a beaker. This is done using the 10 millilitre syringe. Two millilitres of the lactase enzyme to the sodium alginate. And replace the lid onto the lactase enzyme to prevent contamination. Then mix the alginate and the lactase together to create a homogeneous solution. Label the 250ml beaker provided in your kit calcium chloride and take some of the calcium chloride provided and place it into that beaker. To form the alginate beads, draw up the mixture of lactase and sodium alginate into the 10ml syringe and add it dropwise into the calcium chloride solution. This is a setting medium for the beads. Allow the beads to set in the calcium chloride solution for at least three minutes. After this time, the beads can be passed through the sieve to remove the calcium chloride liquid and you are left with the beads containing the lactase enzyme. Now prepare the syringe barrel to receive the alginate beads. Clip off the rubber tubing on the syringe barrel and add the filter paper into the syringe barrel itself, pressing it down with the stirring rod. Stand the syringe barrel and clip in the 250ml beaker and carefully pack in the alginate beads. Be careful not to burst any of the beads. If they are a little sticky, they can be encouraged along by using the stirring rod. Before adding the full fat milk to the enzyme beads, it is necessary to establish that the full fat milk contains no glucose before the addition to the lactase beads. Test this with one of the diastics provided 
and compare its colour after 30 seconds to the chart on the back of the diastix tub. Add the full fat milk to the enzyme alginate beads. Make sure that the milk travels all the way to the bottom of the bead column and that the syringe contains as much milk as it can. Leave the milk in contact with the suspended enzyme for 5 minutes. Label the two test tubes provided with appropriate labelling for the full fat milk which hasn't been in contact with the enzyme and the milk which has been in contact with the enzyme. Introduce the milk from the syringe barrel into the test tube by releasing the clip on the rubber tubing. Each of the two samples is then tested with a diastick. Place the two diastics side by side on a small piece of filter paper and compare them to the chart on the rear of the diastics tub. Make a note of any colour changes after 30 seconds has elapsed. Any colour change towards brown indicates the presence of a reducing sugar, usually glucose. This would indicate that the lactose has been broken down by the enzyme into component sugars. As good scientists we should always leave the lab tidy after any activity. Please return any of the equipment back to the basket provided and empty any solutions into the waste beaker or down the sink.